early in the morning in the Philippines, or about 150 kilometers north of Manila, where we've apprehended this load of dogs destined for the slaughterhouses in the north. As you can probably tell, there are about 100 poor animals crammed into this cage behind me. And these dogs just don't deserve to die like this. They don't deserve to die at all. They're somebody's pet. Yeah, because one here, you see, this is somebody's pet dog. The heat inside the van, the dogs squashed together, is appalling. This is, this is so barbaric. Over the last year, Humane Society International has been highly involved in combating the dog meat trade in the Philippines. There's a new law in place, the anti-rabies law, that passed in 2007. This new law strengthens the penalties that apply to these traders when caught. Previously, the traders would be fined a total of $19 for a truckload of dogs. Now, with these new penalties, it's $100 per dog for any traders caught. And obviously, this is an amazing deterrent against the trade. In this most recent bust, Humane Society International plans to push the prosecution of this trader to the full extent of the new law. I remember this one dog that we previously rescued in one of these trucks named Brown Brown. That was the name we gave him. And he was incredibly friendly towards people despite the ordeal he just been through. He's probably had a, a bit of a rough life, but he's a sweet boy. Brown Brown was put into temporary care and was quickly adopted by a wonderful new owner. And today is a therapy dog that works with sick children in a Filipino hospital. This is just one of the programs that Humane Society International has in place to alleviate the suffering of animals. We couldn't do any of the work that we do to help animals in need without the generous support of our members.